Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 1 Complete on the PlayStation 4. Let's take a look at our roster real quick. Again, no leveling up between episodes. This is one right after the next. Etna's chilling there at 118. Planair's creeping up at the 99. Styles of Stuff. Zap went up to 68. Bumpy's at 94. Arzla at 105, and Antros is firmly in the low 80s. He's getting there. He, he's, he's ranking up. And then, I believe Courtney, up to 72. One level away from the top mage spot. That's about it. Everything else is pretty much the same. Alright, we'll continue on. Hopefully we can. Like I said, we're, we're hitting the our power ceiling here. Things are getting to be a bit more a challenging. Like you at all. Mm. Mr. Vyers mentioned that you killed the Overlord's son. Is that true? Well. Oh, that. Yeah, I killed him. Why do you care? So it wasn't a lie. Why would he lie? Why? Why did you have to kill him? What's it to you? To tell you the truth, I was sent from Celestia to assassinate the Overlord. Awkward. But I can't kill people without a good reason, even if the Seraph commands it. So what was your reason for coming to assassinate the Overlord? That's why I need to know. Why did you kill him? Are you dense? Why are you telling me your secret mission? <laughs> Miss Etna, please answer my question. Go for it, Etna. He may have been the Overlord's son, but he was such a selfish little brat. It's true. So... I shot him with my gun. I guess they're pretty lethal. I'm glad he's dead. Uh -huh. You killed him because you didn't like him? Yep. But what if he liked you? <laughs> yeah, right. That would never happen. Even if heaven and hell collided, that kid hated love and friendship more than anything. How sad. Angels are so weird. There's no point in feeling bad for someone who's already dead. No, mm -hmm. I'm sad for you. Aww. What? Why? You don't have to pretend. I know you didn't mean to kill him, and now you're starting to regret it. How do you know that? Yeah, right. I feel great. Why are you denying the truth? Even if you feel no remorse, you should openly express your feelings. It's not a great plan. However I feel, the prince is still dead. True. So stop bringing him up. I don't want to think about that brat. The overlord must be sad too. Who knows? There's no going back, no matter what we do. Mm. I see. He sent the perfect candidate. Didn't he? She should be able to bridge the gap between Celestia and the Netherworld. Indeed. Oh boy, this already makes me nervous. Oh god, damage 20 and silence. What does this do? Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. This is not gonna be easy. Um. Well, killing them will take an extremely long period of time. We can't do that. We're gonna have to throw them. Uh, which means we're gonna have to waste a few things unless I can get a lucky diagonal throw. Which might hold on. What? Oh, there's ah, oh, there's another one. Darn it! I didn't even see this one. Grr. That way, and that way, and that way, and that way. Yes! I did it. Alright. Diagonal throw number one completed. Alright. Slade, I need your super throwing powers. Geo symbol. Come on, I can do this. Alright, maybe I can't do this. <gasps> Diagonal number th two completed. Alright, cool. Um, 
Should be here. I should be able to land this. I can do it this way. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. Okay, I got him. Okay, so diagonal thrall thralls? Diagonal thralls just saved my life. Just saved me a whole heap of trouble, pain, suffering, and agony. I am a massive fan of not having to deal with any of those terrible things that were about to befall me, so that's cool. I am also a massive fan of cutting these guys down to size. If I can actually do that, I don't know. I feel like fire should be something you guys are very much not a fan of. But you're just kind of all over the map. Alright, let's go with Courtney. Bring her over. I don't know. I guess the Omega Star is probably my best bet. Oh, I gotta get a different position. There we go. I don't like being that close, but that's fine. It's whatever. Okay. Well, when in doubt... Throw star power out. I got nothing. Well, that did decent damage. I mean, I can't complain too, too much. Um, Planair, probably? Alright, Usagi drop. Oh, I did some more reading, by the way, guys and gals, about uh, Asagi. And... Apparently, she was not the main character in Makai Kingdoms. There was supposed to be a follow-up game called, like, Makai Wars or something along those lines. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. But that game is the one that got indefinitely canceled or postponed or whatever the case is. And that was going to be her debut as a main character. But that is neither here nor there now because it didn't happen. So, what we're going to do right now is make Katie a very happy little swordswoman. As she's about to level up a few times. As she just gets a tri tri triple kill. That's right, 64. I like it. Uh, Etna still has some work to do. I'm gonna try very hard to survive this. I'm glad that our diagonal attacks, or sorry, throws work. I'm glad that somebody told me about them in Disgaea 2. And I'm glad. I glad. I'm glad that I've tried them out, played around, and gotten a little, little bit better. A little bit better at them. Pretty sure Zap does not make it through this, but that's okay. He is going to give his best, his all. There we are. Not quite enough to finish everything off, but I'm okay with that. I'm actually going to throw Antros out there, because why not? Antros says he is ready to tank it all. Bring it. Actually, let's give him the Lion's Roar. Why not? Do a little bit of AoE damage. It's not my most powerful of skills, but it should still do some damage. It's not bad. Not bad. Alright, let's end it. Let's see what happens. Bomb magic. Oh, I was hoping he'd live. I thought maybe. Just maybe he'd have enough. He was close. But again, I will take this opportunity to, once again, level up my thief. Good old Slade getting a, a quick, sneaky little level there. Alright, we're going to go with um, Hurricane Slash. Fine. I think I'll just punch him and then back away. Bam, and bam, 1865. I'll back out, we'll let Etna do what Etna do. And Avalanche. Probably enough to finish him. 
Oh, the battles. They are intense. And they're a little bit scary, but we're hanging in there. We're, we're, we're working it out. We're getting through it. That did not do a whole heck of a lot, unfortunately. Alright, gonna move you out of the way. Lanair will pull right back out. We'll do the triple blast of doom. Oops. Sorry. That there was a the, the, the moment of realization of what I just done. I did not mean to do that. I wanted to move her I wanted to use Courtney, move her out of the way, and then I wanted to do other things and I did not do that at all. Instead, I just murdered Courtney. Shot her right in the face a whole bunch of times. That was not the plan. Well, that sucks. Uh, yeah, so that's a thing that I did. Not proud of that one. That was one of my bigger mess-ups in a while. Oh, boy. Alright, well... That's what the Netherworld Hospital is for. Alright, I guess we've done all that we can do without being too disastrous. Oh boy. That's gonna be on our rogue, a thief, if you will. Yep. That's it? Really? Hmm. I expected a significantly larger amount of just awful bad things happening. Hmm. You know. I think I can probably... I can do that. It's not great for me to do that, but we'll do it. Change some levels on it. Alright, that's fine. Uh, gonna have to move at out of the way. Gonna have to blade rush. I'll finish this. Play. That one that we use all that often, and it's a bit underwhelming at this point. To boot, um, I think I can do triburst. Yeah, why not? Throw that out there. It's not gonna do much, but it's there. A little bit of damage. Move you out of the way. Uh, Planar needs a little bit more love. We need to get that coveted level 100. Uh, Usagi, let's drop it. Should be enough to put down the ghost and hurt the big guy. The big guy is then going to get jumped on by Etna, and then Etna's going to be like, yeah. It's going to be good, I think. Or it's going to be really bad. I, I'm assuming good. Avalanche. Alright, Etna. Take him down. And then put him back up, and then stab him a bunch of times, and put him back down. He's going to be fine. 2400 damage. It's pretty good. I think I still hit myself with this one. I do. It's not, it's not the death of me. I mean, Bumpy has a fair amount of HP, so it's not that bad, but still. Alright, we're gonna King of Beasts this guy down. Make him look silly. Bring 1400, 1300? Only 12 still. Wow, that's less, less good than I was expecting. Alright, what if we lift the big guy and we throw him back over. Hmm, yeah, why not throw him over there? Why not? I, that's okay. That's fine. If anybody else you can bring out? Nope. Alright, let's see what terrible things befall us. Just doing basic attacks at this point. I don't despise that. I'm not a massive fan either. Wow, they're really just. Hmm. I just don't seem to care too much about a lot of this stuff going on here. Alright, wind cutter. I guess I'll do this one. Alright. So we're going to do some damage here. Very nice. 
Actually, that was that was way more than I thought we were gonna do. That was pretty good. That was indeed very nice. Thirteen hundred, maybe fourteen, just under. All right, cool. They are both quite unfortunately weak and possibly dead, to be honest. I think with the drop, we've got this. We got the drop on them, yo. We got this. Time's ticking away, but it looks like I will probably end up playing this, uh, maybe doing some leveling up on a li my live stream today. I am, I am all about... Who I was slave. I'm all about the Disgaea right now. I'm in, like, full crazy Disgaea mode. It's like, yeah, let's do this! It's feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Look at that. Just getting levels like crazy. Don't even care about it anymore. What is happening? Can you pull it out? I think you can. I think you got the strength. You're using the same sword Bumpy's using. Catching them in levels. Oh, yeah, you're hitting hard. Look at that. 679. That's what I'm talking about. Get that handled. Alright. So, while we're getting that handled, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pretty raid this guy. Because it's a thing that we can do from distance. And that's what we need right now. Couldn't quite reach him for the avalanche. So, she should be able to tank up whatever that is. I like how these guys are just patiently waiting. I'm totally okay with that. That is fine for me. Alright, Hurricane Slash, and I think that's going to do it for this turn. 1,253. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, alright. Remember how I was all happy that they were patiently waiting? Well, things have changed. You're dead now. Yeah. Served your purpose. And you got a few levels out of it. Ow, I don't like that. I don't like that either. I like that. Okay, so, hmm. I'm starting to feel like we should like fall back. I don't know if that's a viable choice. I don't think it is, but again, I don't know. We may sacrifice Katie. Antros is out of magical prowess, so he's basically a punch bot. That's fine. I expected that. Good to know. I agree. It was good to know. Um, I suppose we'll go there. And they can come back out and just annihilate this fool. Oh, our attack zone is. Oh, that's the worst. I mean, she can still do it. How much HP does he have? Yeah, that's fine. We'll, uh... We'll do this. Chaos Impact. Ooh, that's a bad one. No, we can't do that one. I don't feel like annihilating everyone. I'll figure it out in a minute here. Um, I'm pretty tanky, so I think I can survive staying behind. That's enough. It's not. Well, that's poopy. Alright, what if we hurricane slash you? Damn. Should be more than enough. It is, okay. And should I planar pop? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? It's a bit weird. Very unorthodox. I think I lined that up right? I did not. She's medium tanky. She might survive an attack from the big guy. Doubtful. There we are. Yeah, look at that. Level up for her. Okay. So everyone's good except for Planaire. Who still has a free attack. That dude's too far out. I think he's just gonna shoot us back. I think attacking him is a mistake. Yeah, it was. 
Definitely a mistake. All right, well, whatever. She won't die to that. Uh -huh. All right, let's put you away. I mean, again, Antros isn't really bringing much to the table at this moment in time, so we're going to put him away for right now. Until hopefully we can, like, get some healing or something going on. Uh, can Etna move all the way up there? She can. Okay, that's that's ideal. That is that is choice. I'd like to try our prox proximal shot. I mean, I never use it, so let's give that one a shot. Shoot him at point blank. That's fantastic. Really enjoyed that. Okay. Um, if Etna doesn't miss, which is a medium if, we will be okay here. They really have a specific AI like rule set. Like, don't attack the tanky guys. Don't go after Edna. Don't go after Bumpy. Everybody else that's lower than them, but then certain threshold, will focus on those guys. So like putting them at specific points, like Edna here, they didn't want to come after Edna. Putting Bumpy here, they don't want to go after Bumpy. They want to go around and attack Katie, and other things of that nature. So it's it's interesting and kind of weird and kind of cool all at the same time. See all these various different things working together in tandem. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, I am not going to deal with you. So, I am going to... Okay, that was not what I wanted to do, but it happened. It's a thing. So, what I'm going to do now is... Wind cutter you again if I have... I do. This. And it's... Fine if we can actually hit him at any point. We'll be okay. If we can't, well then we're screwed. We're completely in trouble. She's dead. Yeah. Okay, well. These are things that have happened. We're starting to get a little concerned with the terrifying prospect of dying a horrible death, but well, we might live. It really does require us to actually land attacks, though. I'm not a massive fan of missing every single attack that we throw. Oh, there we go. We landed one. But again, we gotta land way more than one. Oh boy. Alright, um. We'll hold you there. See how much this does. If it hits, we'll decide what we're gonna do from there. All right, here's hoping. Here's hoping we do a little bit of the murder. And I mean, like all the murder. Dang it! That's what I was afraid of. All right. Well. Well, what we're going to do now is hit the right button. We're going to do that. We are going to bring forth Tamlin. We're going to bring forth the heel of the Giga. I'll throw that out. I'm glad those three hits actually landed. And we're going to retreat like a terrified little girl. Oh! Hmm. Oh, I was hoping she'd survive it. Uh, it's starting to look scary, guys and gals. We're running out of people. And it all comes down to actually landing these silly, ridiculous attacks that we've not been able to land. It's It's starting to become a real problem here. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. We go ahead and we're going to throw out some chaos impact. It's gonna be fine. Time for fun. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. 
Oh, we did it. We, we actually did it. Oh, that is that is a miracle in and of itself. I am super stoked and really, really, really happy. In fact, I am going to... Is that going to hit him? No. Okay. Optical illusion. As, as there are many of those in this title. It's fine. Alright, hopefully we can survive this. I mean, we're looking fairly okay. We have our final four, our four, four of our strongest. But we also have golems that can golem smash. Which hurt a lot. I think we have some food we can eat. To survive, so... Don't counterattack, no. You, oh! Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. We're okay. I mean, it's, it's not the ideal situation, like I said. But we do have the eclair and the flan. And even some chocolate. I'm going to go with the eclair. I actually, for once, have things laying around that I can utilize for the greater good. And that is basically surviving. Alright, if this lands, we're going to be looking okay. If this doesn't, we're going to be looking less okay. Pretty much normal, right? Par for the course, as it were. Yep, that's the worst. Alright, that's fine. It's, I mean, it's not, but, you know. Can't really get bogged down on the particulars, I suppose. Alright, you are going to eat the chocolate. That will just have to do. All right, we're gonna end the turn off of this. Everybody's made their move. These guys, Mike. giving us the biggest strugs ever. Mm. Golem smash. Is that gonna hit both of us? Nope, just just ten. Well, you keep tanking it, buddy. Until we can deal with the other guy. The other guy doesn't do as much damage. I shouldn't even be focusing on him at all, to be honest. Don't don't do another counter. Oh. Mm. 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 All right, that's fine. I think we could probably get away with enough just pain and suffering here that this will work. I'll finish this. We may come down to Etna being the only one alive, but we're gonna get through this, by golly. We'll break out the episode once we do. Man. What a what a rough battle. And without the diagonal throws, this would have been so much worse. Alright, Avalanche. Let's do this. Is it enough? I don't, I don't think it is. Oh, with the air out, that would have been easy, but... Yeah, that's that's not enough. Ooh, boy! He's dead. Maybe. Mm, it'll be close. Oh, well, it won't even be close. Alright, that, that's fine. Alright, special... no, sorry. Item. Uh, remind me to restock on things. Uh, we're gonna use the flan. I'm going to asteroid drop my way over onto that side. Should be enough to kill one, if not both, if not none. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it kills... Well, I was really hoping it would kill this guy, but... I mean, if we land this attack... He should die. <sighs> we missed. Darn it. Why won't you die? Why must you continually plague me with your awfulness? Ooh, that's that's unpleasant. Let's not let's not suffer more of those if we can. 
All right, I don't look. I don't even care, dude. Do whatever you gots to do. I'm just gonna focus on the big Uggs, and if we kill the big Uggs, we we be we be rocking it. All right. If we don't kill the big Uggs, then we be in trubs. All right, Avalanche, let's go. Let's do this thing. And then we'll eventually swing a few. Oops, I should not have put Etna into a uh, line of fire. I actually thought I had cleared that. That's my fault. It's still not gonna be enough. Oh yeah, as long as Edna survives, we're okay. If she doesn't, we're we're less okay. All right, so the plan now is to go here. That was actually probably the not the worst thing I could have done, but not a good one. Oh, I'm just gonna go and smash one. All right, I should probably still survive. It'll be close. And then, what does the archer do? Oh, he's still focused on her. I am okay with this. You know what? There, Edna, do that. Do your, your chaos impact. Make that go away. And then we will focus on him. And then we'll see what we gotta do with Arzla. In case I'm underestimating how much damage we're doing with the Chaos Impact, I don't think that I am, but if I am, let's, uh, let's do it this way. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect. And if this hits, Abby, if it doesn't, I'm gonna be miserable. Ooh, it hit. Not enough to kill, but close. And then I'm just gonna, I'm rolling the dice on this one. I'm just gonna try to attack. And then kill him in counterattacks if he does. Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, and now the Ice Queen is next. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. And in the next episode, we try to take the next fight. Let's do a real quick overview again. Now that we're at the end of the episode, where we're standing. Etna's at 123, leveling up really nicely. Again, one of the stronger people, so obviously makes sense. Planair still didn't quite make it out of the 99 range. She was real close, but not there. 68 across. Uh, Bumpy, 94. Arzla, 106. Antro's still 82. So not really much in the way of gains here. Really, it came down to... Well, Slade leveled up a bit. Slade's 46 now. It came down to a lot of Etna murders. So there you have it. All right, folks. Until the very next episode, I am Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>